uh, I want to welcome us with a word and uh, the title of our sermonette tonight will be Another Burden for Jesus is Okay. Another Burden for Jesus is Okay. So may God help us as we share this word so that uh, we may understand this message and that we may come to know and to feel that it is indeed true that another burden for Jesus is okay. You know, brothers and sisters, uh, sometimes we look at our daily lives and at times uh, we feel as if uh, we have become too much a burden to God. We sometimes feel as if we have burdened Jesus with our prayers. We sometimes feel as if we have burdened Jesus with our sins. We are led to feel as if Jesus cannot bear us anymore. You know, brethren, it's because of such feelings that in John chapter 4 and verse 4, Jesus is speaking to us tonight. So we shall read John chapter 4. I shall concentrate on verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. And as we read verse 4, in John chapter 4 and verse 4, the verse says, John chapter 4 and verse 4, the verse says, and he must need go to Samaria. So Jesus felt compelled. He felt compelled to go to Samaria. He felt there was an urgent need that needed his attention. He felt there was a heavily laden soul that needed his immediate rest or that needed immediate rest. Thus, if you read John chapter 4 and verse 5, he came to a city in Samaria, which is called Sychar, near the ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. You know, brethren, this is how particular Jesus comes near, comes close to our needs. His GPS, his GPS of our needs, is that accurate, even to the tiniest fiber of our needs? If you read verse 6, it tells us that Jesus was tired from his journey. Thus, he sat at the well. He was tired. Get that point? That Jesus was tired. But brothers and sisters, though he was tired, Jesus still sat down, waiting to carry another burden from an overburdened soul. Yes, though the burdens of the world be heavy upon God, he still has room for an extra burden, an extra load from you and from me. And that is why in verse 7, the verse says in verse 7, that a heavy laden woman came from the city. A heavy laden woman came from the city. So heavy, so heavy was her burden that she could not face fellow women coming to fetch water. That is how heavy her burden was. She could not endure the presence of other women coming to fetch water. So heavy was her burden that it was easy for her to be scorched by the afternoon sun than to face fellow women. It was easy for her to bear the scorching afternoon sun than to face her fellow countrymen. That is how heavy her burden was to her. 
So heavy was her burden that she lived a solitary life, a lonely life away from her peers. Having evaded all other contact, having evaded or avoided all other human contact, she felt at false, she felt at false peace, at false peace within herself. At least no one notices my worries. No one notices my worries. At least no one notices my fears. At least no one notices my emptiness. At least no one notices my suffering. Yes, she thought within herself, just like at times we think within ourselves. No one notices, no one cares. We have lost you now, please. That even God doesn't seem to be our worries. You know, Jesus startled. Jesus startled this woman because he was sitting by the very well, by the very well where she needed her privacy. That is where Jesus came and sat. She needed privacy. She needed time by herself. And there was Jesus sitting at the very point where she needed her privacy. Yes. Jesus understands that we need privacy. But he also understands that our privacy needs to be interrupted. He knows that our burdens are weighing heavily, that our burdens are weighing heavily upon us. And we, we can do, we can do with some little help. You know, brothers and sisters, if Jesus could open a conversation if Jesus could open a dialogue with this Samaritan woman, what makes us think, what makes us think that he doesn't have time for us? What makes us think that he really doesn't have time for us? Let us be comforted. Let us be comforted. Jesus had room for this woman and Jesus has room for whichever or whatever burden you or I am carrying tonight. Yes, he has a lot of prayers. He has a lot of prayer requests all over the world. But still, he has time to listen to your prayers tonight. Yes, though he is carrying a lot of burden, a lot of burdens of sin upon his shoulders tonight. He can take an extra load. He can take an extra burden from our shoulders to his shoulders. He knows our needs tonight. He wants to open a dialogue with us amidst our loneliness. He wants to converse with you tonight. Worry not. Worry not anymore. Let me carry your burden. Let me carry your burden, whatever the weight of your burden. He is willing. He is ready. Is it a burden of sin? Yes. I can do with an extra burden. Is it a burden of unanswered prayers? Yes, I can do with an extra burden. In one of the songs, one of the uh, musicians composed this song. And the song we know about it, days are filled with sorrow and fear. 
big days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and gray. But in solitude at Calvary, Jesus is very But in solitude at Calvary, 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 but in solitude at Calvary, Jesus is very So to my brothers and sisters. Jesus is telling us, another burden for him is okay. So open your heart to him. Let Jesus carry your burden. Whatever it may be, whatever the weight of your burden, Jesus can do with an extra burden for you, from you and for me. We have a word of prayer. Our kind and loving Father who art in heaven, we want to thank you because of your son, Jesus Christ who has never gotten tired of carrying our burdens, who has never gotten tired, even when he feels that he's still tired from the burdens of the world. He still has room to carry another burden for me and for my brothers and my sisters. Help us not to shell or to give. Help us not to shy away from bringing our sins to him. Help us not to shy away from presenting ourselves day after day because you're telling us that yes, there's still room for my burdens. There's still room for the burdens of my brother and my sister. In Jesus' name, we believe and we pray. Amen.